In this video, we are going to talk about dual display on the 260 series Case IH combines. Um, coming factory standard um, is the dual display. So as soon as you order a combine, it will come with both displays in the cab. The intended purpose of the main display or your armrest display is going to be your machine functions, so such as harvest command, um, so on and so forth um, with adjusting the machine or the combine itself. The secondary display, this is for viewing other information um, such as your guidance lines, your guidance maps, um, variety tracking, stuff like that. That is where you can view it on that second display. So just one thing important to note is that your main display is strictly just your machine functions. Once you get into the machine with dual display, you want to make sure that both displays are communicating with each other. So the proper steps to do this is click on a menu and then you will click on system. Once you're at system, scroll down on the right hand side, click on multi display, and then you can see the software version that your current display or the armrest display is running as well as what the second display software version is running and by that green check mark you know that they are communicating with each other and are ready for operation. So if it, you come across the issue where both displays might not be running the same software, however that being said when this machine comes from the factory with dual display they will always be running the same software but for the weird uh, occasion where they might not be, the proper steps is you update one display and then the other. And so what you will do is make sure that your main armrest display is connected. You will then disconnect your second display and then via USB or the remote service tool, you will go in and update the display. Once it is properly updated and it will say on the screen that it is updated, you will shut the machine off, reconnect the one display you disconnected and disconnect the other one. And then do that same process again, going through either the USB or remote service tool. Once both are both displays are updated, reconnect both displays and power on the machine and go back to your menu system and then scroll down on your multi display and make sure you have that green check mark and then you will know that both up, both displays are to the proper software version and are communicating with each other. So moving on now to the secondary display, which can be found at the top of the combine cab in the front. Um, like I said, the secondary display does not do any of the machine functionality. That is all st stuck to the primary display. And the way to see that is if you click on menu, you can see such as header and combine are grayed out, showing that you're not able to manipulate that information. However, though, that might be grayed out, but you still have a lot of information that is able to be viewed on the secondary display. So if you see here, you can see a bunch of different parameters, um, such as moisture, yield, crop temperature, bushel counter, um, a bunch of information that is available here. You are also able to go in here and edit your run screens and change what UDWs you want um, visible on the display simply by going through and holding the run screen layout and going through the edit of the layout. Moving on then, they also you can see your guidance screen, so creating a guidance line, being able to view your map layer, so on and so forth there. You also are able to view your cameras, um, so you can set up what cameras you want to be shown on your maps and edit those as uh, the customer feels.